Good morning. We are starting unit six, lesson one, mini lesson. I know that says unit five, but we're actually starting unit six. And remarkably, this is something you've pretty much already know how to do. So we're just going to review over it very quickly. Our I can statement is I can write an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. So we first want to review what is m and what is b. So when we're looking at M, M represents our slope. Um, so it's your change over Y over your change over X. It also talks about our unit rate. And when we're looking at word problems, we know that our slope is generally the number that comes before the words per, each, every. Okay, so all of that information is your M or your slope. Now, when we're looking at our B, B is where we cross the Y axis, where the line crosses the Y axis. So this could be anywhere on here. So right here, there is where it crosses the Y axis. Access. Now, the other term for that is called the y-intercept. Oh, one more thing about the slope. In the calculator, this calculator tells us that our slope is the variable a. Just remember that. So we've got two examples down here. We're given the slope and the y-intercept. Now, when I'm going to write my linear slope-intercept equation, you're going to find some different equations in algebra. I am writing these in the form of y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to do y equals, I'm going to have my x, y equals. My slope is my m. So here that number is 3. And my y-intercept is 7. And because it's a positive 7, it's plus 7. So I've written that equation there. y equals 3x plus 7. Now, on my second example, I'm going to write my m is negative 2, so it's negative 2x. And where I would be put a plus b, because this b is a negative 1, I'm going to subtract 1. Now, pretty simple. We've done it before. We've seen this before. So let's go into another way we're going to, we might see it. We might see it in a verbal situation. So a swimming pool contains 5,000 gallons of water and it drains at a rate of 12 gallons per minute. How many gallons remain y after x minutes? So we're setting up and writing an equation that no matter how many minutes we're looking at, we can get the answer. And this is in slope intercept form. And I'm going to look for my slope is my rate of change and it's what number comes before per each and every. So I'm going to look for the words per each and every. And I see here per minute. So right here I want to put a big X. That means my 12 goes in front of it. And I'll have Y is equal to 12 X plus, and I want to see what my B is. This is my starting point. It's wherever I started at. And if I started at 5,000 gallons, then that is what my B is. So, not too complicated, is it? So, our B is 5,000, and our X was 12, because it says per minute. Okay. Now, we've got an example using a table. We have to use stat edit to figure out our M and our B. Now, I'm going to enter this into my calculator. I'm going to hit the button. My memory's been cleared, so stat and I want edit to enter my information. And I need to remember that L1 are all my X's and L2 are my Y's. So this number, negative 2, 14, and negative 1, 8. This is how I want to enter my information. So I'm going to enter negative 2 and negative 1. And then I go over to L2, and under L2, I put 14 and 8. Okay, my information's in here. After I do that, I go back to stats, 
I need to choose calc. So I'll use the arrow button over to calc and I'm choosing this option right here, which is the number four. And I hit enter until I hit calculate and it tells me A equals negative six and B is two. Now what this means is our rate of change or our slope is our A. Remember A just is another word for slope or another calculator used for slope. It's negative six and our B is two. Now when I write this equation, I've got Y is equal to negative six X and then plus two. That's so bad, right? All right, one last situation you might see is from a graph, and this is probably the trickiest. But to figure out my points to enter into stat edit, I'm gonna clear it out, second plus seven, one, two. So I know what information I need to put in my L1 and L2. I've gotta find some points that I want to make sure that whatever points I enter they're on an intersection. So I'm going to look at this line and see where it intersects. Well, one point that I see is right here. And I'm going to count my X's over. One, two, three, four, five. So that means that X is five. And how many do I go up? Well, I'm not going up any, so five, zero. So that can be one of my L1 and L2, five and zero. So I want to find another point where it intersects. And I think I'm going to choose this point here. So I'm going to figure out my x's by going over 1, 2, 2. And I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3. And now I have my information for my calculator. 5, enter, 2, enter, and over. 0, enter, 3, enter. And now my information here looks like this. Go back to stats, over to calc, number 4. And I've got negative 1 and 5. So my A equals negative 1. Now I just need to write that in this form. Y is equal to negative 1. Well, we don't generally write a 1, so I'm just going to write negative x. You could write negative 1x. And then my slope is plus 5. And there you have it. Those are your three options, and that's all we're doing for this week. Be sure to go look. If you're still confused, go to the guide to practice, watch the videos, and then try some of those questions.